When I was a kid, my family moved around a lot. Switching schools six times in four years made it pretty tough to make friends. But over time, I got pretty good at it. I even stopped questioning why we needed to move so often. When my dad's job took my mom and me to Patterson Grove, Pennsylvania, I thought we had just moved to another boring little town. I couldn't have been more wrong. That June, I had to go to summer school. I wasn't happy about it, but it was there that I met four other kids who became very close friends. It was during that summer when those kids and I discovered something I still can't believe was real. It changed the way I felt about myself. It changed the way I felt about my father. It changed the way I felt about the world. And it all started on that first day of school. Sensitive is all. Sensitive? Are you for real? You know, you could learn a thing or two. From like him. what? How to bury my head in comic books and monster magazines? He's just a boy. He's supposed to love monsters and superheroes. A boy? He's, he's nearly a teenager. And there will be time for more serious things when he is. Yeah, if he can keep from wetting the bed or running off to elope with a yeti. You really are a pathetic child. I'll show you a damn child. Where are you going? Get back here. I haven't even started with you yet. I grew up, my kids will never have to face the real monsters of this world. What's happening, little brother? How many years you been held back? Oh, you got this scene all wrong. I'm a teacher here. Sometimes I need to just stand outside, remind myself that the world is my classroom. So, where do you keep the erasers? Oh, you're new here, right? I'm always new somewhere. We move around a lot with my dad's job. So what's your scene? The usual stuff. Music, comics, movies. Hmm, movies, huh? I'm a Kubrick fan myself. More making than watching. We got kids here that are down with that. Got a whole film club and everything. Right now I'm kind of French New Wave meets the Ramones. Not sure that's anybody's thing. <laughs> you might be surprised. Well, there's the bell. You better get inside. Okay, Mr. Capitalis. 
Well, the kids here call me the captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> you got it all wrong. More of a captain of the mine. Hey, you got a hall pass? Do you? I got five. I just got the one. You must be new here. You wouldn't talk to us that way. Just moved here. Some kind of military brat? Nope. That's some kind of wussy? Not enough man to get in the army? Bet he's one of them kids got two dads. Don't turn your back on us. You'll be sorry if you turn your back on us. The Patterson Grove Welcoming Committee left a lot to be desired. But luckily, I found out quickly that I wasn't the only filmmaker at my new school. While I was hopeful about making friends with similar hobbies, my dad was about to get a surprise visit from an unexpected guest. Yeah, I'm here, Ricky, and you just made me jump out of my skin. <laughs> Sorry, good buddy. Over. Can we drop the whole over thing? It just feels weird to me. Sure thing. <laughs> just get it out of your system. <laughs> sure thing. Over. Okay, are we all set now? Yep. Aren't you gonna ask me what I'm up to? Sorry, I have a lot on my mind right now. Oh, man. Are they at it again? Unfortunately. What set them off this time? Their favorite subject. You? Bingo. I'm sorry, good buddy. It's fine. As soon as I'm old enough, I'm gonna split and never look back. No one would blame you, that's for sure. I just don't get it is all. I'm not a bad kid. I stay out of trouble. I get good grades. I'm sorry, good buddy. I just don't know what my old man wants from me. Hey, man. If I understood parents, I'd write a book about it and be rolling in dough. Now that, I believe. Not to take away from your wonderful tales of home sweet home. No, please, change the subject. I think I found it. It? Yeah, it. The perfect location to film our monster movie. Walking in Bigfoot's shoes is one step closer to becoming a reality. That's so cool. Where are you? The south end of Winchell, just off Thorn Path. You mean Winchell the woods? <laughs> you know another Winchell? Good point. Good news. I'm there too, just on the other end. I'll start heading your way. See you soon. Right on!
Come in, come in. Uh, my people, this is the new student I was telling you about. Hey man, I'm Boone. I think we met in American history today. You know what I said about American history? It was written by the winners. This is my girlfriend, Sandra. Hey. Hey, I'm Millie. Hey, I'm Corey. So, I'm working on like my own Logan's Run movie, only good. And I'm trying to figure out if I could do lasers or something. Maybe some dries, some flashlights. I'm not sure about the dry ice, Val. No. You just need to take a pin and scratch the emulsion off the back. Then the light shines through and makes it look like a laser. Won't that destroy the film? Nah, man. I do it all the time. I even poke holes through to make gunshots. How can you see the end of the guns? My dad has a Minette viewer for editing. Makes it a lot easier. Man, I could do with one of those. That's pretty cool. Is your dad into this too? Yeah, it's something we do together, but he's been into it for a long time. That is pretty cool. Mild man pretty much stops at John Wayne and PBR. <laughs> we got a bunch of Super 8 silence stuff to watch. Chaplin, Harold Lloyd. We even got some Tom Mix. Some other cool stuff clips from 20 million miles to Earth, Rodan. That's the good stuff there. I need to meet this dude. You should bring some of those to the next meeting. I will. I think he would let me. He makes his own movies too, since before I was born. What kind of movies? Not fiction, really. More like whatever was going on stuff. Home movies, family vacation stuff? No, more like life. Life, man. So what are you working on yourself? A little of this, a little of that. Keeping it on the auteur side. I dig that. So bring some of your stuff next week, man, so we can figure out some of the mess of that. If I have something ready. Dude, I already told you all about my Logan's Run homage. I told you not to turn your back on us. Found a boyfriend on your first day? You must really put out. See, I would say something about your mom putting out, but it's just too easy. You're just pitching these in underhand. I'm the one hitting, not pitching. What's all this? What's up, Bob? What's up, little bro? Get in. Hey, Bob. Who said you can call me Bob? It's Bobby to you. And don't you have a t-ball game to get to? Thanks for bailing us out, sis. When I was a senior, those two were sophomores. And now they're seniors and you guys are sophomores. But I'm two years gone from this dump and that's just how the food chain works. No place in tunes. Hey, see you at school tomorrow, Mills. So where do you live, new guy? I hang a left. Hey Bob, pull over. What? Pull over. Do not put that on your foot. What? You see tennis shoes sometimes laying on the side of the road, but who finds a dress shoe laying on the side of the road? You still on this haunted woods thing? Haunted woods? Those stories even go back to my day. 
some sort of monster is supposed to lives out there every once in a while. Somebody goes missing. Never heard from again. Sounds like a movie. I'm not going out there to shoot a movie. We won't go out in those woods for anything. No partying. Nothing. Great. I live just across from it. The other side of that field. Let's get going. Hey man, it's good to have you in the club. Hey, thanks. You guys want to come in? Sure. Mom. Corey, I didn't realize school was out already. What's happened, Mom? Where's Dad? Your dad's gone. He started drinking again. I had to ask him to leave. That, that doesn't sound like Dad. It's being back here after all these years. There's some hard memories here. Come home to a house like this! I deserve some respect! Who are your friends? This is Boone, his older sister, Bobby. People call me Roberta, ma'am. This is Boone's girlfriend, Sandra. Hi. We better go, man. See you at school tomorrow. See ya. What's really going on, Mom? Nothing. What I told you is the truth. Please, just... Go to your room until supper. But mom... Please just go to your room! We never should have come back here. Where the heck are you, man? I'm getting there. I just thought the rest is all. Rest? You need to lay off the TV. Dinner's good, buddy. <laughs> you might be right. Anyway, you can take your time. I just set up camp. Camp? You're gonna sleep out here? You know it. Would your parents wonder where you are? No way. I told them I'm staying overnight at your place. <laughs> You're better off out here. <laughs> That's the truth. You brought the tent and everything? Of course. Plus a full kit and the trusty Super 8. I'm gonna get as much footage as I can while I'm roughing it. Solid. Whoa. That's weird. What is? All the birds and stuff? They stopped making noise. Here too. Listen to this. All of a sudden the forest dropped in the presence of the Sasquatch. As if the whole of the animal kingdom paid their respects to their lord and master. This could be the greatest thing that ever happened to our film. Yeah, if we live long enough to make it. I knew something was up with my mom's story, but I just couldn't figure out why she wouldn't tell me the truth. Maybe it had something to do with the car I'd seen parked outside our house earlier. I wasn't certain until I saw it in my backyard again.
Yes, police? I want to report... I want to report a missing... No. No. It's Embeth. Will's gone. Somebody's gone through the old films. I know we shouldn't have come back here. Your dad hit it? Why? I don't know. I've always been able to wash his stuff, but he always had one reel he stashed away I could never look at. When I saw our place had been trashed, it was the only thing I could think of he's ever hidden away from people. My mom's hiding something, trying to protect me. My dad never came home last night, and that's not from getting too drunk. How can we help? Could you watch this with me? You guys know Super 8, and maybe you'll see something in this I don't. Plus, you guys are from the area, and something... Something my mom said makes me think this was shot around here. What? Yeah, my mom and dad lived here back before I was born. Well, they've lived a lot of places, but I just have this feeling. Let's reel it up, man. So, you've lived a lot of places? Yeah. I did too, once my dad left. It's not easy. <laughs> no, it's not.
Your dad shot that? I guess so, yeah. I haven't been out in those woods much, but that sure looks like them. Looks like trees to me. Yeah, but it's more the vibe. I thought you said he wasn't into doing fiction. He wasn't. Then what was that? Watch your step. Are you crazy? People run through here. Big Shunit. I don't know who you guys are. I'm not even gonna ask if you have permits to be out here. I'm just out of here. been through here. Will, you okay? Yeah? I, I think I see something. Well, what is it? I don't know, but it's big. Is it a bear? I don't know, it's hunched over and it's dark, but it's too far away. Maybe you should get the hell out of there. Come on, man. Our film isn't worth dying for. Oh, no. It just stood up. It's not a bear. Ricky, Ricky, what's going on? It's him. It's Bigfoot. Don't worry. I'll protect the camera with my life. This footage is going to be amazing. Hang on. I'm coming. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? You showed us the movie. Now it's a we. My dad's missing. You say there is something in the woods. My dad's movie looks like it was shot there back in the day, so maybe he's in the woods. That woods, it's, it's not like a grove of trees. There's a couple of acres out there. So maybe it's not a recon hike. Maybe it's a camp out. Man, haven't you listened to anything anybody said? Can you watch your dad's movie? So we'll take a tent and see we're going camping if a cop or ranger or somebody else stops us. You don't get it, bro. There are no cops and there are no rangers out in those woods. I have a tent. It's my little brother's old Boy Scout tent. He quit after a few years and nobody uses it now. Cool, I'll tell my mom I'm at Millie's Saturday night. Millie says she's at my house. Boone says he's at Corey's. Corey's at Boone's. Easy peasy. Cool, I'll make sandwiches. Is this a plan? Except for my folks don't care where I'm. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. You got film stock in case we find anything? I always have film stock. Shooting a porno with your mom? Looks like somebody raped the cat box. Shut up. You don't got Boone's big sister to bail you out of this one. They don't need her. They have me. Oh, what the hell is that? It's for when I don't feel so fresh as a woman. It stings. Calm down. It's the closest you'll ever be. It's just perfume, doofus. Oh. Smelling pretty, her. Oh, get this stuff off of me. You didn't do nothing. What do you want? I got three older sisters. I know what can happen. I've been drugged up the stairs by my hair so many times, it's lucky I'm not bald. Thanks for having my back, jerk. You gotta admit, she sure does smell pretty. Hey, wait! You move pretty quick for a blind guy. I'm fine. So what do we do now? I've tried to show him who's boss twice now. Third time lucky.
They all stick out like a couple of brown skid marks on a pair of tidy whites. We ain't doing nothing. Kid says they ain't doing nothing. You know damn well they're doing something. Y'all weren't planning on going off and doing something stupid in them woods now, would you? Nope. But I know someone who does. Oh. Do tell. Corey. School out already? Yeah, and it's Friday, Mom. Friday? Yeah. And I'm going camping with some new friends in the morning. Maybe that's best for right now. Not the woods. No. This guy has a field his grandpa owns. Kind of a hobby farm. I'm glad you and your father had this hobby together. Make sure it stays a hobby. Okay. Okay. Quiet, Huey. I said, I said, be quiet. Be quiet, Huey. Knock it off. What's the matter? It's not storming. Hey boy, what's the matter? It isn't storming outside or anything. And if you're a burglar, I don't believe on only anything on the material plane. That night, I had one of the most vivid dreams I can ever remember. There was this creature roaming the fields near the forest. It was hairy like an ape. And somehow, I knew that it was part of the reason why my dad had disappeared. I felt like it was trying to tell me something, but I just couldn't understand. Dad, what's going on?
Ricky, Ricky, are you there? I'm here, but I lost him. He bolted when the storm started. Ricky, you gotta be careful. You need to find somewhere safe. This sounds like it's gonna be a really bad one. Solid advice, good buddy. You should do the same. I'll be okay. I hijacked your tent. Hey, you know that cave on the east side? Yeah. Well, I must have traveled further than that because I'm right in front of it. You better be careful. There might be something way more dangerous than this storm inside there. I'm already inside. You gotta be more careful. Okay, Mom. You're lucky to have me looking out for you. <laughs> Calm down. You know I appreciate it. Just stay put. And I'll make my way back there after this blows over. Don't worry, I have no intention of going anywhere. Give me five to keep me alive. I can't believe you're making me do this. Just be cool, then I'll give you a marshmallow. I've even brought pink ones. Do I look like I eat a lot of pink marshmallows? Marshmallows? What are you doing with those? We're supposed to be camping, aren't we? Yeah, fake camping. Gotta make it real. The A-team you aren't. Come on. You got it. Don't leave home without it. Want me to drive you clear around here? Yeah, this woods is a couple acres, but if you drive us to the farthest point, we can hike back and end up somewhere near Corey's house. Better than starting at this end, and then you're right there in the middle of nowhere. I've got a feeling we don't want to be stuck standing there waiting for you. How's your mom? She was asleep when I left, but all right considering we haven't heard from my dad. Don't worry, we're gonna do something about that. Hang on. Hang on. I think that car was outside my house. Corey. They're after us. Have you ladies ever raced for pink slips? Listen to this. Where are we, Bob? This used to be an old logging road. Dad and his brothers would come out here and hunt back in the old days. I never heard about that. You were too young, and I was just a girl. Word is there hasn't been any wild game out here for a while now. Funny, isn't it? Actually, I think this is gonna work pretty well. I think this puts us on the far side of the woods before it turns into a highway frontage road. 
What do you think? It'll work. Ricky, Ricky, where are you? Damn. I'm really worried about you. The only friend I have and the only one who gives a damn about me. Please, Ricky, answer! I'm exhausted. I need to get some rest. But I'll keep my, I'll keep my ears on in case you need to contact me. You ready? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, well, if I don't see you doofuses in front of your house at this time tomorrow morning, the shenanigans are over and I'm calling the cops. Will you be a narc, Bob? Just be safe, little bro, alright? Right, right. I don't like having to be the mom, and the dad, and the big sister, and the driver, and everything else. I heard you loud and clear. So you're sure that movie was shot out here somewhere? You ask me that now? Yeah, you can tell. Somewhere out here. Anywhere out here? As long as it's not nowhere out here. So, you think your dad would have come out here? Yeah, because I would, and we're a lot alike. I'm eager to meet your dad then. Ain't from around here. I'm a state worker. <laughs> Thought so. Locals don't come around here. Well, you're out here. We're hunting. As far as I know, there's nothing in season right now. What we're hunting for, always in season. You best get back to where you was parked. Yeah, well, I was done anyway. Yeah.
one. Damn. Ricky? Ricky, are you there? I can see how my dad got hooked on this place. I really like it out here. I remember you said you never joined Girl Scouts, though. Uniforms? Not my color. Hey guys, stop. Do you hear anything? No. Did I tell you anything? No birds, no animals. Nothing. Don't forget what this place is, guys. So, who owns all this land? Now? Who knows? Story goes 20, 30 years ago, some local guy who's a Korean war vet and his Korean wife bought it all. There was a lot of prejudice back then and they just kept to themselves. Plus, I heard he was scarred up pretty bad from the battle at the Chosen Reservoir. Do they have any kids? Don't know why. I think there's some sort of half Korean Boo Radley out here or something. Just never heard that part of the story before. So, there's a homestead somewhere. A what? If the woods are so quiet, then what was that? It wasn't small. <laughs> what was that? And maybe what we came here for. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Y'all just peed down your legs. What the hell, man? We're out in the wild now, time to do this man to man. Since I got whooped by two girls. <laughs> what, you guys want to go all Lord of the Flies? You don't like heavy metal. You're acting like these guys know how to read, man. There's something about you two guys and big sticks that you maybe need to think about. What? Hey look, your girlfriend brought leaf to a stick fight. It's not a leaf, it's poison ivy. What? Oh, man! What can I say? She's smarter and better looking. I'm batting out of my league. I wonder if that's the last we'll see of them.
getting jumpy. You shot too. been through here. Just rubbing it in, dumbass. I need some water. You see a creek, a stream, a wishing well? Just wait till we get home and quit touching it. What did you just say? Ah, damn it. That chick's some bad medicine. Sorry, bro. They're just goofing. Buttheads. Y'all were told not to come. Hello? Uh, is, is this Corey's mom? Yes, who's this? I'm not trying to lay a authority trip on you or anything, but um, I'm a teacher from Corey's school, and I just wondered if uh, he and Boone were there. No, he's at Boone's. I already talked to Boone's dad. They were supposed to be over there. What is this about? Some guys hit me over the head last night, and they went through my stuff. My film stuff. Film, film stuff? Yeah, like uh, what those kids do in the film club at school. Uh, I think they might be in trouble.
Let me see your camera. Nice. You don't want me to use your camera. What? What if we're wrong? What do you mean? What if we're not looking for monsters? What if bad people did this to my dad? Corey. I think you may be wrong. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. We're all cool. Everybody's cool. There's no way that creature hurt my dad or anybody else. Or plant a steel trap. Look, fences are made by people. Also keep some things in, some things out. Follow a fence line and you can find people. Or where people lived. There's something at the heart of these woods and I think it might not be the monster we're thinking. I'm Corey's mom. We met the other day. You're Roberta? Yeah. Uh, well, the guys are probably running around here somewhere. You think you're protecting them, but you're not. He's my brother, but it's always just kind of been the two of us. I understand. But this is serious, and I really need your help. Look. It's gotta be those same guys that tried to run us off the road. What do you think they're doing out here? Y'all got half a brain each. Together. Still as dumb as ice cream in an oven. What do you want with us? Use you as target practice. Multiple rounds. Shooting kids is frowned upon, even when they're little a-holes like yourselves. But you've got to learn what happens when you try and cross us. More evidence. More evidence is right. We haven't even talked about what we saw back there, and we have it all on film. Yeah. Yeah, what? Let's just focus on getting my dad back, okay? Leave these kids out of this. It's too late. Just let them go. I'll give you what you want. Better. Still too late. Besides, these two teabags are picking on your kid at school. It's 
say we're doing y'all a favor. It doesn't matter. Just let them go. Tell us where to film this. Think about it. In the basement. We stupid now, huh? We already looked there. A couple other places too. Just tell him, mister. It's the truth. Maybe we did miss it. Then again, maybe the kid brought it. Corey? Little boy Blue Scout, out and about in the woods. Big hero. This kid's dead. Not Corey. Tell you what, we're gonna go out there, find him, have ourselves a right pretty little reunion. No! That sounded like a gunshot. Yeah, Corey, no! Yeah. Stand down! Okay, okay. You said it'd be a family reunion. You okay, son? I'm okay. Did you bring the film with you? What film? It doesn't matter, Corey. It's over. Yeah, I brought it with me. I didn't want to leave it where anybody could find it. Give it to these men. But, Dad! Give it to these men and they'll let us all go. Easy. You're not going in there. He's my friend. For what it's worth, Dad, I know what you filmed back then was real. I saw one of them. <laughs> Y'all think that's why we're doing this? Sure. Capturing them creatures will make us famous. Where do you think the money for all them traps and these guns and all that's coming from? Hmm? This film of your dad's? One shot in the woods back then? I got me some influential clients who believe it accidentally shows a chemical dump site. Even after all these years, this footage can still get some folks in trouble. My brother always thought there was something going on down on his land. And he and my sister-in-law both died of cancer. That was your brother? Yeah. And I should have come back a long time ago and taken care of this. Now I've got you involved and it's my biggest regret. Don't worry. Y'all see him soon enough. Best friend, no. It's going to be okay. You there, good buddy? Ricky, I'm so happy to hear your voice. The feeling's mutual. I couldn't get the walkie to work for hours. Probably the storm messing with it. You wouldn't believe the morning I've had. If it's anything like my night, I bet I would. I've been stuck by wolves and Bigfoot. I think you may have that wrong. I do? Yep. You see, those wolves were out for my blood, too. Or maybe I took their shelter from the storm. All I know is they were inching closer and closer, and they meant business. This seems eerily familiar. The next part is really going to knock your socks off. Go on. Well, just when things were the most grim, 
that Bigfoot stepped into the light and let loose with the most unnatural growl I have ever heard. Those wolves scattered in all four directions and Old Foot chased after some of them. The night was quiet as can be after that, minus the storm, that is. Well, at least you know what happened to those wolves. And our hairy hero as well. I was totally wrong about him, that's for sure. I mean, who could blame you? He has got sort of a bad rap in all the books we read. True. I still wish I could thank him, though. Maybe someday you'll get a chance. Come on, Ricky. What are the chances we'll ever see Bigfoot again? About the same as seeing him in the first place. I hope you're right. So, now what? Head home soon, I guess. Back where the monsters are never friendly. I wish our new friend could help you there. Me too, but such is life. What about you? I'm going to check out this footage. With this stuff, we may have the next Jaws on our hands. Man, I can't wait to see what you got. I'll contact you later tonight. Same bat time, same bat channel. You know it. Great. On that note, over and out, good buddy. Okay, I'll give you one. Over and out. Will? 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 Are you there? Come in, good buddy. Roger that. Don't worry, good buddy. Everything's gonna be all right. Corey! Corey! This is where I dropped them off this morning, ma'am. I'm not sure which way they went from here. We made it, and we got the film. Hey, man. No. Just... No. Maybe you think I was crazy for destroying that film. Heck, maybe I am crazy. Maybe you have to be a little crazy to ruin the only documented footage of an actual Sasquatch. All I know is, that monster saved our lives, and the least I could give it was privacy. We never told anyone about the creature. Well, not until right now, that is. So, I hope you can keep a secret. Yeah.